Okay, so Ten of Cups is here. But yeah, you knew the truth about this person. And then Ten of Cups popped out. So what is this Ten of Cups? And then Six of Cups and then Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, this person is only coming back because they um they could want to as I said, they knew that you're someone that's like having good luck. They could see you building an empire or something like that. And they're trying to come back. Yeah, this person wants to. This person could look at you as their family or something like that. You could be the only family that this person had. And that's how they're looking at you. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles, and then six of cups. And this is why this person is coming back. Yeah, Nine of Cups and then Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> this person had to be sitting back at the Nine of Cups watching you as wish fulfillment. And um, Knight of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this is some... <laughs> Yeah, this person is coming in. Whoever this person is from the past that you hadn't been in a relationship with. This person, this Knight of Pentacles is all about, um, this is somebody typically that's single. They're, um, went through a lot of distractions. And, um, yeah, this is somebody that's also responsible. So, as I said, this person could come off as if they're, um, ready to take care of their responsibilities but this person is somebody that's at the nine of cups they overindulge in toxicity different toxic patterns and um yeah like getting high and getting drunk and stuff like that and they could be trying to keep that hidden but they're going to come off as if they want to take care of their responsibilities they want to be in your life especially if you have a child with this person yeah, they're trying to confuse you quick because they know you're getting ready to partner up with someone or something like that. Yeah, Ten of Wands is here. This person could be going through a lot right now, Ten of Wands. Feeling burdened, feeling pressure. Yeah, this person got a lot of weight on them. And as I said, you could have a child with this person's empress on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person is going to make it seem like they're coming back because they feel like you're being you're weighed down or pressured since they're not in your life. And they want to help you, you know, come in and be responsible. Knight of Pentacles is here. And pick up some type of slack. <laughs> I'm so done. I just can't. I can't. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. This person is coming towards you quick. Yeah, this person, yeah. This person see you in this Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> they look at you as someone that is, uh, you know, a mother, a wife. Someone that's financially stable. And this person at the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone that's, you know... If you're someone that's a queen of pentacles, someone that's mature and um, financially stable, this is someone, as I said, that you were taken care of. This is somebody that was younger than, like, you know, if they weren't younger than you, then they were very, you know, childish. And, um, yeah, this person is being weighed down and pressure in some type of way. Uh, they want to come and try to place this ten of wands on you, pressure you to make it seem like they want to be responsible. They want to help you out, but they see you in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Uh, they're trying to come toward you because they see you as someone that's focusing on your finances and, and things are just moving forward for you, Eight of Wands. And um, they want to come quickly toward you. Yeah, King of Pentacles is here. They know that well, who, whoever is coming toward you is someone that's going to be your match. King 
Lee and Queen of Pentacles and then Eight of Wands. Yeah, and they're at the Knight of Pentacles. They're coming off as if they're going to be responsible. They want to help you out with this child that they left you with. Yeah. Queen of Swords is here. This is somebody that you hadn't cut off. You spoke the truth to this person. It's like if this person comes towards you, you need to speak the truth to them and just let them know. You possibly already spoke the truth to them. But if they come towards you, you just need to have an honest conversation with them and just let them know, like, you know, that is not something that you want to go back to. You know, you're only moving forward. And you don't got to be disrespectful with this person, go back and forth with this person, because y'all do have a child together. But you do need to speak some truth to this person and just let this person know, you know, you're moving into a whole nother direction. You are in a whole nother direction. And you're just, that's just not something that you would, you know, go back towards. And, um, yeah, you're going to be speaking the truth to this person. Five of Cups is here. They're sitting back in regret and sh ashamed and embarrassed. They look at you as someone that's very intelligent. You speak the truth. You cut off things that no longer serve purpose in your life. And that's how they see you. They're at the Five of Cups crying over spilled milk. Ashamed, embarrassed. They can't even face different people that they, you know, would literally, or they could have set up and talked to, to you, uh, uh, talked about you to. And um, it's like now they're being pushed and weighed down to try to come back towards you. Yeah, because they see you moving forward. Eight of Wands is here, and they see you only manifesting someone that's going to be, you know, in your end that can match your energy. King and Queen of Pentacles. This person is at the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, and it's like you're at this Queen of Swords with this person. And they're, they're, trying, they're getting ready to come towards you, but they don't know that you're in this Queen of Swords energy. Someone that's very smart, intelligent. Speaking the truth and cutting off things that no longer serve a purpose in your life. But this person is coming to confuse you. Yeah, Nine of Swords is here. It's like they're at a mental prison in their head. They're trying to get in your head again. And they don't know why you're not thinking about them. They're having nightmares. About you, you know, getting with somebody else. And you don't even know this. <laughs> They're having different dreams of you being with someone else. Being in a relationship. And they possibly don't know why they're having these dreams. They don't know. Yeah, Six of Wands is here. They could be seeing you doing something online. Yeah, this is somebody that holds you in high honor. That they're seeing you in a dream with. As well is what I'm getting. Yeah. They seen that person as someone having victory with you. Yeah, they could see you and this person as a power couple or something like that. And it's torturing them. They can't even sleep at night. Yeah, four of wands is here. They see you um living with this person at a, in a home and everything. It's like they're constantly being hunted down. <laughs> Yeah, and they could. This could be somebody that you know, and they could have called you and questioned you down about this person, and you didn't understand why. And they're being tormented, having dreams about this person, and you being together. Four of Wands and Six of Wands, being in a relationship and being like a power couple, doing different things online, being famous, and they they're they're uh, having dreams about this. They can't even sleep at night. Nine of Swords is here. Yeah, this person is sitting back in regret. And they're, you know, they're trying to come back towards you. Yeah, you 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 have to be in this Queen of Swords energy with this person because they're trying to get inside your head because they're in their head. They're trying to confuse you. Because they're being tormented by whoever this person is that's coming towards you or you're getting ready to uh, come in union with four of wands is here. Whoever you're going to be building a life with or getting in a relationship with, with this four of wands. Yeah, three of cups is here. And then tower. Yeah, this could be a friend or something. Three of cups and then tower. Yeah, it's like when you reconnect with this person, it's going to be a drastic change for them. You're getting ready to reconnect with someone else. Could be this person that you're going to be in a relationship with. Or um, 
yeah, this friendship, it could just start off as you and this person being friends. And then it's going to um, develop into a relationship. And this is going to cause a tower moment for whoever this past um, energy is that's trying to come back into your life that you have a child with. Yeah, Ten of Swords here. They're going to be, they're going to feel betrayed and backstabbed. Ten of Swords. And then Nine of Wands is here. This is somebody that's dealing with abandonment issues. They have not deal, dealt with the issues that they were, um, you know, endure as they were a child. Their mother and their father could have abandoned them. Different family members could have abandoned them. And as I said, you were like, you know, the only family that they had. And this person is sitting back at the Nine of Wands dealing with abandonment issues. Page of Cups is here. And then the Emperor is here, yeah. <laughs> As the Empress had them popped out. So it's like you have someone, this person that is your, um, yeah, the Empress is here. And then Emperor. Whoever this Emperor is, is someone that is your, you know, divine counterpart. And they've been as secretly admiring you with this page of cups. And then the emperor is here. This person knows that you're their divine counterpart. And whoever this past energy is, they possibly didn't know. And they they don't know why they keep having these dreams. <laughs> yeah, four cups is here. They feel like they missed the opportunity with you. And that's why they're in their head being um, taunted by whatever they had and did to you. They, you have, you've been in, a, you have been in a relationship with them for a long time, and it's like they didn't do nothing but cause conflict, chaos, confusion, um, breadcrumbing you, not coming in equal with you. You constantly taking care of this person, and you doing everything, and it's like. Um, now they feel like they missed the opportunity. They feel rejected. They feel insecure. And they're stressed out. Yeah, four swords is here. They could be sick. Yeah, they could be sick. Page of swords, knight of swords, and five of swords. Yeah, this person could be sick and uh, with this four of swords. Somebody that's watching you also, I'm getting. This page of swords could be someone else that's watching you and they're sick. And they're in this uh, five of swords energy. Someone that's envious and jealous. This could be somebody that was attached to um, your divine counterpart. And they're at the Five of Swords. They're envious and jealous. It's like they had them defeated their self. And they're mad. Knight of Swords is here. They're angry. They're raging around because they're sick. And they're just watching you. This person is sick from something. Two of Wands is here. Yeah, they were doing something to try to keep something at a stalemate or prolong something. Or try to stand between uh, you and this divine counterpart. Try to keep you at a stalemate. Keep them at a stalemate. And y'all wouldn't know which way to go. And they were playing with trickery over you and this person. They were trying to stand in the middle of um, disconnection. Yeah, Two of Pentacles is here. They wanted this person at the Two of Pentacles where they would just be juggling. They, they didn't know which what to go or which way to go or just constantly trying to balance the situation out whoever this two of pentacles energy is they're mad about something though they're mad because they got sick so they could have been behind the scenes playing with different stuff um to try to have you in this whatever trickery they were using it got them sick yeah eight of swords and then queen of cups 
They try to do something to try to have you stuck in your head. They wanted you to be stuck. They did something possibly to have you and your kids stuck. This Queen of Cups is a mother. And they wanted you to be tied up or tried to bind you in some type of way. And they ended up getting sick playing in your energy field. Yeah, the chariot is here. You have moved forward after gaining truth and clarity. They didn't know they were keep tying their self up. Yeah. And then Knight of Wands is here. So it's like this person was trying to place some type of some lustful energy onto you and your person. And um, as y'all share the same soul, you ended up getting wrapped up in some type of situation in this physical realm. As they were trying to bind you and this person in the spiritual realm. Your person could have gotten wrapped up. It's like this person didn't care that you had kids or anything. They were just sitting behind the scenes doing a whole bunch of stuff to you in a demonic way. And you don't even know this person. And it's like, it's crazy how this energy popped out. And I'm talking about uh, someone from your past and then your divine counterpart. It's like, this person is still in your divine counterpart's energy. And, um, yeah, that's why they came through in this reading. Temperance is here. This person, oh yeah, temperance and knight of wands. It's like they were pouring different stuff in. Um, this is how they get down is what I'm getting. They literally go around and pour different stuff. Like they, they meet up with people, have drinks with them, slip stuff. And uh, they just meet up with random people. This could be somebody that was a prostitute meeting up with people at hotels. And they, um... Knight of Wands and Temperance. They did this to get, you know, people to loosen up, to have sex with them, be attracted to them. So they can just come in and out of their life, get what they want, and then go, flee. And they would slip Mickeys on these people. Yeah, as I said, get them to be attracted to them. Queen of Wands. Next thing you know, these people's coming in at the Knight of Cups. And this person is sitting back at the Three of Wands waiting for their ships to come in. After they had them placed a spell over multiple people to get them to have sex with them. This is sad. And then Three of Swords is here. Somebody is sitting back going through depression, heartbreak, and um, they're heartbroken about something. And then Seven of Wands is here. They could be heartbroken because they feel blocked off from you. Or they're just heartbroken because something had them backfire. This could be this karmic energy or um, your divine counterpart. Or it could be this past energy. It's three different energies. Someone from the past that um, you were connected with. And you cut off. You could have a child with this person. Or you don't necessarily have to have a child with this person. This person that wants to come towards you. They have a karmic in their energy. That was trying to create blockages for you and this person. Connecting with each other. Because they were envious and hateful. And they had them play some type of spell over this person. To try to bind them to them. Did different stuff to try to wrap you up in the justice system. And you weren't even attached to this person. You weren't attached to anybody. And it's like this person did a whole bunch of stuff to try to prevent you and this person from coming towards each other. And it backfired. Seven of Wands is here.
the star card and then ace of cups yeah it backfired this person look at you as someone that's very healing and they're in love with you they look at you as someone that's very abundant very blessed it's like whoever this energy is with somebody that was at the five of swords because of who you are they were envious because they seen something in you that they didn't see in their self. So it's like as they were attached to that person that they knew wanted to come towards you. It's like that person wasn't even trying to come towards you in the past. If that person was attached to you in the past and you were just a friend to that person, they did something to confuse that person to get them, you know, unattracted to you or get their attention off of you for a minute. And it's like this person's attention never left. They were always attracted to you and admired you. For the energy that you walk in. You're someone that had healed after going through a lot. You were balancing out um, a situation that you hadn't went through with this person. Whoever you were connected to or in a relationship with a, for a long time. And um, you went through a lot of drama, conflict and chaos, fights and arguments. You overcame that. You came up out of that on your own and started healing yourself, cleansing yourself. And it's like this person was watching you. This king of wands attracted to you, admired by you, why, by um, who you are as a person. You know, you've chosen to heal yourself and just mind your business. Next thing you know, you and your kids is caught up at the Eight of Swords. All because this person seeing you moving forward in life, the chariot is here. They wanted you and your kids to be stuck. Wrapped up, binded and blinded. In some type of situation. Eight of Cups is here. Yeah, they thought that, that would make that person walk away from you. Or something like that. Or not be attracted to you. Or something like that. Because they see you in this energy. Nine of Pentacles, upright, single, sufficient, abundant. Someone that minds your business. You could have had your own business or started your own business. Very self-sufficient and independent. And they wanted that person to walk away from you. Whoever that five of swords energy is. As they try to, you know, do different stuff behind the scenes to try to have you stuck and wrapped up. Yeah, I was just getting ready to say in the justice system. And this was a secret. The moon car and then justice is here. This was a secret. This person did something fraudulent to try to have you wrapped up, you and your kids, in the justice system. And they had different people helping them. Three of Pentacles is here. Different people behind the scenes that probably didn't even know um, your divine counterpart. They were helping this karmic that was attached to them do different stuff to wrap you up. Give false statements on you and different stuff like that. And they're mad because it's backfiring. It could have backfired on these people that's working behind the devil's working with them behind the scenes. And they didn't expect it to backfire. Yeah, the sun car in the reverse. They were not happy. And seven of pentacles is here. It's like they had invested so much time and so much money into sitting back trying to have you stuck. And these are people, a group of people that you don't even know. That were attached to, um, instead of being mad at their self or this karmic who got them wrapped up in this situation trying to wrap you up. They got behind the scenes just watching you, waiting on your investments to come in and realize that they weren't going to get anything out of it. But karma. Yeah, the food card is here. You're on a whole nother path in a whole nother direction. You're walking in your purpose. You're walking on, you know, in your journey, your destiny. And that's why they're sitting back at the Seven of Pentacles, realizing that they didn't get anything. Forced to take an L and learn a lesson for whatever they had to set back and did to you secretly. As they sat back and thought they were going to keep it hidden, it was a secret that justice would be served. They didn't know. Yeah, high priest is on the bottom of the deck. This was hidden to them. They were secretly, you know, high priestess in a moon card plan with spell work over the justice system. Casting spells over false cases. Doing a whole bunch of stuff unbeknownst to you and this person to try to have y'all stuck and wrapped up. 
and they were placing different spell work over the justice system. Casting confusion. And they didn't know how, how, how much karma that they would get their self for playing in the justice system with spell work. 